Hello YouTube. It's been like a week. I haven't had my wheel turning. I've been having the shakes. <laughs> Hello to everyone out there, friends, subscribers, everyone. Um, I've been struggling putting a new motor on. Uh, the other one just wasn't fast enough. I checked it and uh, I was only getting about 150 RPM out of it. So I've got this old or this crummy bench grinder hooked up to it. Finally got a good hook up to it and uh, got it running. Now I doubled up the magnets on the wheel but I think I want to undo that and only put one layer of magnets on there. I just got it hooked up and I just got a coil put on it and I want to show you how it's running uh, but that's basically it just show you my progress. I've really had a struggle um, first choosing a motor and how to do it. This is an AC motor um, and I've got a rheostat put on it and I put a microwave oven cap on it but I have it plugged into the wall. I can put a watt meter on there um, to check energy usage but I just want to be able to test the wheel at a little higher speed. I, it allows me to um, adjust the speed nicely but I'll get it going. I have an AC meter here on the two coils on the PMH and I also have a meter AC setting on this little pickup coil so you can see a, a change in speed. So I'm going to give it a flick get her going. I'm going to let her settle at a at a nice speed just takes a little adjusting. settle down. It's just so heavy that it takes a minute. But uh, the little pickup coils at 13.3 AC volts and these uh, PMH coils are at 27.7. Twenty-seven point seven, twenty-seven point nine, twenty-eight, thirteen point two. Okay, so I have a little. This is just a little twelve volt DC um, bulb on here, and I have a switch. I'm gonna close the switch. We're at about twenty-eight volts. Thirteen point three on the little pickup coil to show the speed. Thirteen. Thirteen point three. Thirteen point four. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna flick the switch here. Oh, she's not settled down yet. All right, so now she is. I'm gonna flick the switch. Here we go. There we go. She's on. It's going through this bulb. You can see the speed rising. You can hear it. Speeding up. More voltage going through these coils, coils with a little more speed there. Still climbing. It started at about 13.4 on this measuring coil. It's still climbing. You can hear it picking up speed. Still climbing. Again, that's just shorted through this bulb, which is about an ohm. It's still climbing. It's still speeding up. You can hear it. 
going faster and faster. It's awesome. Still climbing. I can hear it. It's still picking up speed a little bit. Probably getting close to settling down now. But that thing's flying now. Okay, so I'm going to flick the switch. Here we go. There we go. These coils are, aren't shorted through that bulb anymore. You see that speed quickly drop in there. The voltage in the coils is much higher now because the wheel is going so much faster. It's still dropping. You can hear it slowing down. There we go. So my wheel was going about 150 RPM in those other tests I showed. So this is uh, going to be good. Good setup. I'll be able to uh, do much more accurate tests, and I'm going to get uh, I'm going to get wires soon. Very very soon. Sorry it's taken me so long, um, but I needed to get a good prime mover on there. She's a little warm little warm uh, but there you go I'll have more videos coming up and I'll talk to you later see you Ed